Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all new Nissan X Trail. Afternoon, I'm James Royce. Mortgage holders, are you ready? We are about to find out if the Reserve Bank has a 12th rate hike up its sleeve. Another quarter of a percentage point increase will take the cash rate to 4.1%. Comsec's chief economist Craig James reckons they'll hit pause though, believing inflation has reached its peak. And now the, the Reserve Bank will just be monitoring data on a month-to-month -month basis to see whether it needs to, to go back in and lift rates again. Well, a lot has changed in the 20 years that Kathleen Folbig was sent to jail as she celebrates her first full day of freedom after her pardoning over the deaths of her four children. Friend Tracy Chapman says the advances in technology in particular have the 55-year-old confused. The phones have bamboozled her a bit this morning. <laughs> yeah, and yesterday she was just a bit like, how do I use this? Even the television, she was going, oh my God, look at the television. It's got so many capabilities. Conservationists are calling for the removal of shark nets from Queensland waters. That's after a humpback became tangled in one off the Gold Coast overnight. The whale has since swum away safely. WA authorities have killed a dingo responsible for two attacks on kids in recent months. It had attacked a two-year-old boy in the Karajini National Park in April before nipping a four-year-old boy on the leg on Saturday. I'm not sure that you actually are, but if you were keen to know what plans Alan Joyce has after his time at Qantas is up, the CEO says he'll be taking six months off and go for a cruise around Antarctica. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. Lyon does not believe that his side's record in Sydney is all that relevant heading into Thursday night's clash with the Swans. St Kilda has not won in the Harbour City since 2009, but the coach says that actually doesn't surprise him. Clearly we haven't delivered enough relentless action and system, so over that period they've been a very good team and um, clearly St Kilda waned for a period. And British media is reporting the final details of Ange Postacoglu's contract with Tottenham are being finalised before an official announcement is made. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Showers most likely tonight across the limestone coast, lows of 12 degrees, up to 30 mils of rain possible tomorrow and a storm. Want more local news? Get free breaking news about our community. Download the Listener app, search for the Limestone Coast and add to your favourites now.